É uma prancha parecida com, com a prancha de surf, mas mais pequena, sem quilhas. Inicia-se na corrida, a partir da praia, lança-se a prancha na área amelhada e desliza-se até à onda e dá-se a, a volta na onda, o nosso chamado rap, e volta-se a surfar a onda. Isso é a definição de uma onda de skimboard. I think it goes back to the first guy who skipped stones, the first guy who threw a plank of wood down on some little sandbar somewhere back a long ways, but I think we're all just people in the middle of the story. Skimboarding is not just throwing a wood board around in the sand anymore. I mean, skimboard you could use anywhere from a lake to behind a boat to the most advanced form is like surfing on it. Surfing on a skimboard is very challenging, but it's been shown to be possible. It's just that sensation of, you know, sliding across the thin film of water. It was, it was fun. What I tell people is that it's surfing however you're starting on the sand. We're basically running as fast as we can into the opposing wave and then being able to turn off of it and ride it back into shore. You can learn to just slide down the beach, which is relatively easy, or you can take it to the next levels, which a lot of kids do. From turn to more completed turn to more of those completed turns as he got better and better at manipulating the board. And he pulled a shove it on the wave and rode back to the shore. And that was, for me, that was a groundbreaking moment. That was the first time anybody had, you know, ever even considered that. I knew that we were onto something that was going to blow minds because I had been doing this every day of my life. You're running, you're dropping, you're timing, you're balancing, and then you're trying to look good while you're doing it. Like, that's a lot more elements than most, most board sports. That in such a foreign place, people that I don't really have a connection to are enjoying the sport, like I said, as much as I do. And it's gonna mess with your head because skimming is addictive and uh, you'll start feeding off of it, you know? Like, you're not gonna operate correctly if you haven't skimmed for a week, you know? It's just how it is so many different people together to meet up for one for one thing that they all shared in common. Well, it's definitely the, the family thing has always been there, even when back in the day when the Victoria team came out here to our East Coast Championships. Facilitating me to be able to go around the world and do all these things, and without those people, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be here at all. So, I mean, I owe them everything for where I am today, for sure. I think you're referring to came about when the east coast of skimboarding blended with the west coast of skimboarding. That was, you know, what really hooked me to skimboarding was 